Fuck spiders. Let's talk about Arachnorak Spider. Deep within the wildest woods, where the light of the sun never reaches, lies many of the old world's deadliest spiders. But beyond that, in the deepest depths, lies the eight-legged monstrosity, the Arachnorak Spider. This unstoppable predator is bigger than an empire townhouse, and stalks and feeds on herd of beastmen, and larger prey such as giants. Over time, forest goblins have learned that packs of giant spiders could be defeated, and even serve as mounts. Unable to stand up against the onslaught of the Arachnorak spider, tribes began to worship the creature, and the eight-legged totems began to appear beside idols of Gork and Mark. Goblin shamans learned to communicate in simple terms with the giant spider by chewing on enough bulbous savouries and not dying of twitching, the convulsive rhythms of the shaman's body would entrance the Arachnorak. With that, goblin shamans are able to call on the spider kings for time of battle, as long as there is enough bribes for blood. Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. Thanks for watching another uh, Let's Talk About video. Uh, the one about the Arachnorak spider. Um, this is definitely one of the best models from Games Workshop. Uh, if you have ever seen one of the devices, try and like, pick one up or even just look at it. You don't see it around as much, I don't think it's as good in the game as it looks. But uh, it's definitely worth looking at any piece of eye candy. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope I see you in the next one. And uh, see you later. Probable predator is bigger than an emperor's time. Uh, bigger than an empire. Emperor. For the emperor. Let's talk about Arachnorak Spider. Deep within the wildest woods, where the light of the sun never reaches. Shit. Dying of twitching, the convulsive rhythm of oh, Jesus Christ. Spider, by chewing on enough ball beside the uh, I think it's one of the best models around from, from Games Workshop you can get. Yeah.